So today I'm talking about a P0411 code, what it is and how you go about fixing it. And so what is a P0411 code? Well, it's a secondary air injection incorrect flow detected. And so what does this mean? Well, basically vehicles have what's called a secondary air injection system, which is for emissions. And the computer is seeing some kind of problem inside of this system, mainly that the air that's flowing through it to the exhaust is having some kind of problem that the flow is not correct. And so it's going to be troubleshooted to know why. And the main purpose of these secondary air injection systems is only to control the emissions for the first 30 seconds to one minute when the engine does a cold start. And this is because the catalytic converter, it doesn't start working and controlling emissions until it gets hot. And this is also true for the O2 sensors. They also need to get hot and warm up before they could get good readings and start reporting information back to the computer. And so basically to control the emissions until the catalytic converter gets hot along with the O2 sensors, Vehicles use this secondary air injection system to do that. And basically the way they control these emissions is that they inject air directly into the exhaust. And this causes a chemical reaction. It's going to cause oxidation, which is going to burn off those unwanted gases. And it also produces heat, which is going to help the O2 sensor and catalytic converter warm up faster. And so to explain these main components, I made up this diagram. This is going to be a real basic diagram. If you do go to work on a vehicle, be sure to get a diagram for that particular vehicle because these systems can be designed differently. These components can be named differently and things like that. So it's always a good idea to get a diagram for your specific vehicle. That way you know for sure what's going on. But the basics of how all these systems work is that air is going to go into the system, usually through the main intake air filter on the vehicle. Although sometimes these air pumps, they can have their own separate air filter, but usually it's tied into the air filter box. The air is going to flow over to the air pump, which is just pumping air into the system. And these air pumps on older vehicles, they could be belt driven. Newer vehicles, these would be electric. So again, there can't be differences, but there's going to be an air pump in there. The air is going to flow over to what's called a control valve. And this control valve is being controlled by the computer to open and shut to let air go into the system. So the computer is just controlling this valve and opening and shutting it. After the air goes through the control valve, it's going to go through a check valve. And the check valve just keeps the air from going back into the system. So once the air goes past the check valve, it can't go backwards. So it's just a real basic component that's letting the air go one way and not go backwards. After the air goes past the check valve, it's going to get injected directly into the engine's exhaust, which is going to create that whole chemical process and heat up and do the oxidation and everything like this. And so again, that's just a real basic overview of what's going on inside the system and the main components involved. And so what would be some possible causes of a P0411 code? Well, the first thing to go and do is check for any blown fuse or relay that's going to be related to the secondary air injection system. And it can be kind of confusing on which fuse it is or which relay it is, since quite often they're not really clearly labeled and things along these lines. So you're very likely going to do some research on your particular vehicle to know which fuse and which relay it is and what's going on. For example, here's a 2014 Chevy Malibu. And one fuse is on 14. This is going to be the secondary air solenoid. There's going to be a second fuse for the air pump. And then there's also a relay for that air pump. But like I said, sometimes it's not so clear on which fuse it is. But the first thing to go and check is going to be for a bad fuse or a bad relay. And the next thing that could cause this is a bad air pump. It's very common for these to go bad and just need to be replaced. Usually they're going to have two ports. One port is going to be coming from an air filter, which is usually tied to the main intake air box. But again, sometimes it's separate. And then another port set in the air directly into the system. Well, for example, here's a secondary air pump right here. One port is tied directly into the air intake box. And then the second port is going straight into the system. You can't test these pumps if you want to. They're just basic air pumps that once voltage is going to them, they're going to start pumping up the air. There's some good YouTube videos on how to test these. I made some videos on this. I'll put a link down below if you need to check that out. But the next thing that's going to cause this is a bad air pump. And the next thing that could cause this is a bad valve. And this is going to be like a bad check valve or a bad control valve or something along those lines. It can be common for all these to be built into one package. Although, again, these can be different. There can be different valves going on. They can be named differently and things along these lines. It is very common for these to get all clogged up with a lot of carbon buildup and things along these lines. And that can block the flow of air going to them. There's some different ways to go about testing these. Like any of these electronic valves, they just open and shut when power goes to them. So there's some different ways to go about testing these. Again, there's some good YouTube videos on that. But the next thing that could cause this is one of those valves has gone bad. And the next thing that could cause this is that there's some kind of leak going on in the system. Like one of the hoses is leaking or one of the pipes that's connecting everything, that there's some kind of leak going on there. So you can't go through and examine all these pipes and all these hoses and all the connections going on and be sure that they're all good because the next thing that's going to cause this is that there's some kind of leak going on. And the next thing that could cause this is that there's some kind of wiring problem going on. 
For example, if there's some kind of wiring problem going on, going to the air pump or going to a control valve or something like that, then that's going to cause problems. So you can't go and get wiring schematics for your particular vehicle. Since again, it is going to be different. You can go and check and be sure there's no issues going on because the last thing on the list is going to be some kind of wiring problem. And so that's basically it. I just wanted to give a basic overview of how you go about fixing a vehicle with the P0411 code. If you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me and I'll try to answer them. If this video helps you, please click like, please click subscribe and have a good day.